Hi everyone, it's Stacy from PeonyLineDesigns.com. Have you subscribed to the channel yet? If not, click the link below. You're not gonna wanna miss this. Don't forget to click the subscribe button, comment down below, like this video, and click the bell icon to be notified. So over on the website, PeonyLaneDesigns.com, uh, Patty jumped in and asked me some questions about painting fabric and furniture and different types of fabric. So I think she mentioned velvet and leather and, uh, and the only thing I'd ever used was chalk paint. So she asked how I felt about acrylics and I hadn't tried them. So we're gonna try them. I've got Angela's acrylic leather paint from um, Angela's Shoe Polish Company, Santa Fe Springs, California. So supposedly you can use this to paint on leather and it doesn't crease. Now, I have my doubts because it's acrylic, but uh, they've had some success. So I don't have any leather furniture to paint right now, but what I do have is my daughter's leather cowboy boots. <laughs> I figured if I can paint these and she can walk in them and crease them, it's going to tell me if you sit on a leather chair, if it's going to crease and crack. Now, um, my daughter loves the Junk Gypsy boots. So I'll pop up a picture here if you guys have never seen some of their really gorgeous uh, cowboy boots. They're very expensive and we can't afford them. So <laughs> she's going to get a Junk Gypsy treatment on these boots. So these are just plain brown leather boots that I picked up actually at a thrift store. You can see the tag is still, the writing is still on the bottom. And they fit her perfectly. So you can see they're well broken in, uh, but they're just brown and she would like them to be purple and pink and turquoise. So lucky for me, Angela's Paints has all those colors in there. Although it does say that they're a water-based uh, paint that can be mixed to your own custom colors. So you can mix any of these colors. And what I got was their sample pack of all their colors. So this is like, well, I don't know if it's all their colors because they had like specialty golds and things like that that I did not pick up. But this is like the basic kit. 12 different colors. It had the pink, the purple, and the turquoise. So hopefully there's enough in here to paint the entire two boots that I have. Um, we'll see because my understanding is it has to go on in thin layers to prevent the cracking. So I'm going to make sure that that's what I do. Um, they come in, they, they do come in bigger size bottles. So let's say we're going to paint a leather chair. Obviously you'd need to get the big bottles and I don't know how much for coverage. So we're going to explore coverage on a dark brown because a lot of furniture is going to be dark brown, uh, a lot of leather furniture. And you may be looking at just like a seat cushion or something like that. We'll check it out. We'll see how the acrylics work and if it's any good and if it cracks. That's going to be the big test for me. I'm excited. Now I've seen on their Instagram page that they do a lot of tennis shoes and things like that. Nobody's done a cowboy boot that I saw up there. It was all like skateboarding shoes and tennis shoes and custom basketball shoes. And it seems like tennis shoes are their big market. Um, but I don't see why you couldn't use it on furniture. You know what I'm saying? So if you have a piece of furniture that you wanted to do something fun on oh they also had like people that do leather jackets and things like that too so it must be good because people are using it um i've also got coming i haven't received it yet in acrylic fabric paint and that is going to be tested on velvet i think i'm going to try that out on the velvet to see if the velvet stays soft with the acrylic fabric paint but if you want to see that video, you're going to have to subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss it because that's not going to be in this video. This one's going to be all about painting leather. Let's get started. All right. I have consulted with the child and she wants it mostly turquoise. Oh, it's got like a nail polish brush on it. Uh, we're not using that. <laughs> I have my brush. I'm going to... Um, 
Do the base coat then in the turquoise. Ooh. Because then the other colors will go right on top. I have already cleaned the leather, by the way. Uh, you do have to clean and prepare the leather and dust it off. And I already did that. This is really pretty. This is a really pretty. And look at the coverage. I mean, that's wow. I had to smell it. I don't smell anything. I'm really surprised. I'm really, really surprised, actually. I have a very sensitive sense of smell, and I'm surprised I'm not smelling anything. I did not tape anything off. I decided I would just try and be really, really careful. <laughs> surprised. Okay, first impressions, I'll be honest. I was not expecting that kind of coverage. Very nice. <laughs> I'm really hoping this doesn't crack because this will open up a whole new avenue of furniture, recycling, and upcycling. Um, <laughs> I'm getting really excited, so I'm hoping it doesn't let me down here. Okay, so here's the first coat. I am not gonna lie, I was not expecting the coverage to be this good. I mean, you can see, I mean, it definitely needs a second coat. However, the color is super vibrant. All right, two coats down. I am wholly impressed with the coverage. Um, I missed a section on the back, so I still have to do a section back here, but I'm ready to do the pink and the purple. Now my daughter wants more pink than purple, mostly turquoise, more pink than purple. So, uh, I'll got to figure this situation out, but, um, I'm ready to get started in here with the pink and the purple details and we'll move on. But look at how well that covered. And this was a fairly old and scuffed up brown boot. I'm really impressed with the coverage on this. And it says to wait 24 hours before you give it any kind of torquing to prevent cracking so it's got to dry it's got to cure i might give it more than that i might give it a couple days and then uh we'll try it out Day two, they're dry. Uh, time for the flex test. I will be honest with you, I did not buy the clear coat for these because I didn't want to invest too much if this flex test didn't work out for me. So, ready? Are you ready? We're gonna flex them. It's not cracking. Ooh. Well, that's impressive. I mean, I basically scrunched that up pretty good and you can see the paint did not crack. I'm going on Amazon and ordering the clear coat. <laughs> They also have a product that um, helps you paint it on um, like, an, like a vinyl. And I have a chair that I was wondering how I was going to reupholster it because it's got that like heat sealed vinyl on it. And now I think I'm going to use this. So I'm going to go on Amazon and place that order. Look at how it laid down. 
It laid down so nice. I'm really impressed with how well the paint laid down. You don't see the brush marks and I am not a neat painter. I am like the worst like hack as far as painting. And I'm not seeing my brush strokes, which I was really surprised. The only thing I would do um, if you're going to blend paint, like I painted the pink and then I painted the purple. It dries so fast. I would have, uh, if I had known that, blended this immediately, like tried really hard. I did go over it to try and blend it in and make it look a little better. I don't think I succeeded, but that's my failure, not the paint's failure. I'm not a great artist. Um, I'm more, I'm just a painter. I'm not an artist. So I love these. Oh my gosh. I hope she loves them. Let's go take them out to her see how she likes them. But I paid $9.99 for these boots and gave them a brand new life. They're awesome. Well done, Angelus. Now I can't wait to paint furniture. I will be looking for a chair or something now. As far as coverage, the turquoise was what I used the most of and I did do two coats of the turquoise. I did three coats of the pink and two coats of the purple. So the lighter the color, obviously this was a medium brown. It wasn't a black. If it was a black, I'm assuming the lighter pigments would have taken even more paint to cover. Um, I didn't see that they had a primer as far as something that would help with that. But um, I didn't use that much of the turquoise. I used maybe a quarter of the bottle to cover both boots with two coats. So I'm really impressed with that coverage. They also sell a larger bottle. I think, I think I'm going to invest in a blue larger bottle just because I know when I paint furniture, I'm going to want to paint it blue. Like if I find a leather chair, I'm probably going to want to paint it blue. Blue is super popular where we are. Every area of the country has different colors and things that they like, but um, they had the larger bottle and all the colors. I will put a link below to the kit that I bought, the 12 on Amazon. It'll be an affiliate link. If you buy it, you support this channel and I'm so grateful for everybody that does support the channel. You can also support this channel by getting your Happy Junkin and Junkin Buddy t-shirts and sweatshirts. So those links will be down below as well. Thanks for watching everyone. Happy Junkin. Bye. Visit my blog, PeonyLaneDesigns.com, for more tips, tricks, and inspiration. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon so you'll be notified of new videos. I post every week DIY tutorials and, of course, more Junkin' videos.